Good rising! Twisted Sage here, 26 degrees, sun in Capricorn, squaring off of my Pluto. Um, and the moon is also currently 8 degrees Pisces. Um, I noticed yesterday at the end of Aquarius moon that uh, I was seeing the emotional detachment within people. I actually decided to have a cup of joe yesterday. Boy, life's more, <laughs> life's more exhilarating with coffee. Um, but uh, Aquarians are synonymous with wanting to activate that nervous system. Let's get our uppers on. Um, so, okay, what was... Um, but today, yeah, perhaps people were feeling maybe a little over-amped since there's so many planets now in the sign of Aquarius, ramping up everybody's electrical, uh, nervous system. Um, God, I need a new windshield or also clean this fucker. Anyways, um, if you notice... Um, moon's in a water sign and we've been really 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 dry here in, in I mean Arizona's kind of a more of a dry climate as it is but up here on the mountain we get I guess that you know it stays dry and then we get like dumped with moisture um, but I just would like to show the correlation of uh, far more clouds in the sky um, and I feel like I know that to be true because of the moon in um, in the water sign element where there's not a ton there's not a ton of uh Really, there's only Neptune in Pisces that's holding consistent moisture in the sky. Um, and then everything else, so there's... We still have a lot of Earth energy, which um, Earth and air together, it definitely brings a very dry climate. Um, And, and that's the dominant, uh, definitely the dominant, going to be the dominant elements throughout 2021. Um, you know, I guess 2020 was the dominant earth energy, but now we're going to have a mixture of, of, of the earth and air being the dominant. So definitely try, um, as far as weather-wise goes, I've definitely noticed a serious drop-off in temperature. Um, this last week, surprisingly, it's been kind of warm. I thought Uranus going direct was going to bring um, a sudden drop-off in temp. But this week has actually warmed up. Um... Now, I do feel like, so again, so Aquarius energy, that's rules in middle of winter. Although I always feel like Capricorn is a colder energy than, than Aquarius. Um, but, I mean, they both, they both are more, I'd say Capricorn, obviously, and, and Aquarius are more winter than Pisces is. But collectively, in the sky, we have planets holding all three winter signs. Now, if Uranus happened to be in a, in a winter element too, winter sign, we probably would have some severe fucking cold. It's in a spring element sign, but it's still the, win the winter planet. So, um... I do feel like once the square energy kicks off a bit more precisely between Uranus, Uranus and Saturn, 
um, we will see a greater cold. Um, I think I've seen in the forecast for our region that when the sun comes into zero degrees Aquarius, it's supposed to actually snow that day. Um, again, there's nothing you can't reflect and touch on any aspect of your life with astrology. Um, but to, as far as today's sun and moon, um, you know, you always associate Pisces with magic. Any of my Piscean students I get while teaching, especially the, the kiddos, I always tell them, okay, you have magic feet. Um, you know, and I, it, it's fun. Yesterday, and whatever, I'm an Aquarius, so I'm going to, I'm going to break the fucking rules, whether I guess I'm punished or not. Um, and obviously, I, I always try to, I still try to come with integrity, even in my wrongs, if that makes sense. Um, so there was a couple of girls that might have been, like, I think they were 10, maybe they were hitting that 11, 12 range. And... The one girl just kept looking at me and I in her eyes I'm like I, I see I'm like okay I know what I see what her sign is I feel like and they're two friends and they're getting on the chair in front of me I said hey uh, do you happen to be born in August and they're both like yeah um, they're like how'd you know and I was like I could see it in your eyes and she's like which one of us I was like the one on the left and then the, her friend on the right was like turned around and was like that's kind of creepy. <laughs> so, I mean, um, but I guess that's my, my way of trying to wake the people. You know, in, in a certain sense, I, I once told, uh, I'm going to go ahead and swip, flip this. Uh, doesn't do it justice. Sure looks better out of my eyes. Um, that, uh, You know, people need to know this knowledge. You know what I mean? Like, you can... Okay, I, I mean, it's not... Maybe it's not necessary. Um, but it's the way to, to not try to cookie-cutter everybody. Especially your children. Um, you know what I mean? If you have... Regardless of sign... If you have a son in the fourth house... You're, uh, you know, sorry to say, but you're, you're probably bound to be a, a, a homebody. You're going to love staying at home. It's just going to be your thing. Yeah, it's decent. Windshield's fucking it up. I guess I'm a pretty pitcher. Um, All right, what uh, things of things of note, connecting the dots. So, um, I had a. It was on the ninth. I had a student that was a Capricorn. Um, he was nineteen, fixing to be twenty on the eleventh. So, of course, he he would have came to me uh, energetically. Well, he wasn't like super into astrology, but uh, the kid actually had Snapchat like. He had logged in on his phone, his rising, I think all his planetary placements, but it wasn't in your typical chart. It was just the slides. And um, so he was, uh, he was a Scorpio rising, Capricorn sun, and uh, a Leo moon, and uh, an Aquarius Mercury. And I didn't go further into seeing but anyway, so he, you could see, so Capricorn rules fear. Um, and, but it also rules, I want to say it rules determination. Um, determ determined to, to get to the peak of, uh, the pinnacle of achievement. Um, and so, he was getting my concepts, like I've noted that people seem to be able to take the spoken word and, and apply it. 
much more easy now that we've had the grand conjunction and air signs. Um, but anyways, like, so he was getting it. And so I let him go. But then his board kind of went a certain way and he, he wasn't giving her enough pressure to his toe edge. And so he caught edge and fell back. And your natural instinct is to brace yourself with your hands. And so it turns out he, he fractured or broke his radius. Um, and it was only our second run. And of course, you know, as uh, you always take it upon yourself as the instructor, like I always take it as, you know, definitely, where did I go wrong? You know, I'm a nine-year vet. I, you know, I feel like I should be able to prevent that from happening within a student. Um, but uh, anyway, so we we decided to take break. It was close to lunch anyways. Like I said, you know, I wasn't sure if it was sprain or break, but he felt like a fracture. Um, so we sat there and had lunch and then of course I bust into the astrology and um, and then that's when he shows me what he got from Snapchat and um, oh oh you know it was it was the reason I brought that up was okay so Mercury in Aquarius what does Mercury rule it rules the hands it also rules the arms so boom so Aquarius rules his wrists. Well, what else was going on in the sky? Um, well, he was a Scorpio rising. So uh, newly found Mars in Taurus um, would oppose his Scorpio rising. So oppose his physical vessel. Okay. Um, but then, so what does that create? That creates a T-square. What did he also have? He had um, a Leo. Um, he had a Leo moon. So uh, Mars coming into Taurus helped uh, the transit help plug in the missing puzzle piece of a grand fixed square. But let's break it down. Let's single it back down. Um, the fact that Mars was zero degrees Taurus, maybe one degrees, was exactly squaring his Mercury in Aquarius. What does Mercury also rule? The mind. What does Aquarius rule? Fixed thought. So he was, what, what is square, or what are square synonymous with? Internal conflicts. So inside, he was really beefing, uh, you know, trying to get, he was wanting, and I know because uh, air signs and fire signs can be the most impatient fucking signs to be. Um, you know, your patience comes from your earth and water, but more so, more, more so earth signs are, are more of the patience. Man, that's a beautiful fucking sky. Um, so, um, you know, he's, and then on top of being the Capricorn he's battling the fears within himself um, he also you know he had them that, that he's got the the T square of fixed energies in him Aquarius Scorpio and Leo so he he wants edge um, the kid is you know a good kid um, but you could see like uh, Capricorn can bring a dry personality but that's just what was kind of sh is shined by his son. He's a Scorpio rising, so he's definitely a deep kid. Um, I'm just trying to show you the the battle. So the battle between so what's Mars? His drive. So he was driven for this, challenged by Mars to his rising, uh, perplexed, and and in, internal battles because of. The square to his Mercury, and and boom, it ended up in the fracturing of his wrist. What is uh, in, in the joints? The, the wrist is a joint. Capricorn rules the joints. <coughs> um, 
You know, perhaps some of the other early Aquarian planets played in too. But, uh, you know, the early degrees, um, Saturn in Aquarius, Saturn rules the bones. Um, so, ah, but then the Sleo moon had the courage. We didn't know. We went and got it wrapped up at, at patrol. But then he didn't want to quit. He had the courage to get back out there. And we, again, we didn't know that it, it was broken or not broken. And we finished our lesson. And uh, I was pretty proud of him. Um, and also stoked. I never had a student want to fight through an injury like that. Um, all right, back to our sun-moon combo. Let's switch to see if it looks... Yeah, all right. Now, there's how I was seeing things before. Yes, it's a beautiful sky, my, minus my fucked off windshield. Um, so, yes, uh, today should be, for the most part, a harmonious day. Uh, we still have the squares in the sky between Uranus, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter's moving away from them squares. Mercury is away from those squares. Uh, uh, so, but we are approaching the the big battle um, of the 20th when, or the 19th when the sun enters Aquarius. Anyways, um, but yes, the sextile between the sun and the moon, harmonious opportunities, uh, able to bring um, fantasy into reality because um, your earth signs always represent more the physical tangible reality um, but your earth signs to water signs are mainly sextiles unless it's Virgo then it, but there's none of that in the sky um, Uh, oh, this is also the Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, energy. Capricorn Sun, Pisces Moon, and a Mercury in Aquarius. Ooh, if my memory serves me right, he might actually have a Mars in Taurus. Um... Anywho, yeah, happy birthday, Dr. King, and... We're out. Stay blessed.